This GeoMap app tutorial shows how to import your own tabular data and spreadsheets. In this example, we will import this spreadsheet of geochemistry data. The dataset is in a Microsoft Excel format, and we see that the first row contains column headings. We see that there is a column for latitude and longitude, and if we scroll to the right, we see the geochemical analyses. In order to import the spreadsheet, we go to File, Import Table or Spreadsheet, and select the Excel Format option. We navigate to the file, select the file, hit Open. In the Imported Data Tables window, we see the spreadsheet values. We hit OK. And in the Configuration window, we must specify which column is latitude and which column is longitude so that we can plot the samples on the map. To select the columns, we use the drop-down menu, and for latitude, we go down till we find latitude, this one, and similarly for longitude, there, and then we go to the bottom and hit OK. The first thing to notice is that the structure of the GeoMap app window has changed. On the right, we see a list of function buttons, and we will explore those in a little bit. And at the bottom, we see the data table that we imported. If we wish, we can detach the table by clicking the Detach Table button on the right. This allows us to move the table to a different part of the screen if necessary, like so. For now, though, we'll keep the table attached to the GeoMap app window. So we reattach it by clicking Attach Table. The second thing we notice is that the symbols have been plotted as grey circles on the map, here. And we use the zoom button to zoom to this location. In the table at the bottom, we can sort any of the columns simply by clicking on the column heading. For example, if we wish to sort on age, we click that column heading like so, or we could sort on, say, latitude, or by sample ID, for example. Selecting any of the rows in the table will highlight the symbol in the map. For example, here, this particular sample is highlighted in red. We can highlight more than one record using the Shift or Control keys. For example, to highlight four records, and we see the symbols illuminated in the map. We can also simply click on a symbol on the map to highlight the record in the table, like so, and so on. Also, the table at the bottom shows only those records for which the geographical location falls within the map window on view. We can explore more functionality when we use the functions over on the right. For example, for this geochemistry dataset, we can scale the symbols according to the MGO content. For this, we choose the Scale button on the right, click it, and find the parameter we wish to scale on. In this case, MGO. Select OK. We can change the amount of scaling by moving the vertical lines, like so. Let's now colour the symbols according to, say, latitude, for example, to look for a latitude dependence in the geochemistry signals. For this, we use the colour button, and when we click it, we choose the parameter we wish to colour upon, in this case, latitude, and hit OK. And we can change the colour scale by sliding the vertical lines to the left or right, like so. GeoMap app also offers the ability to graph any two of the numerical columns. When we click the Graph button, we select from the drop-down menus the values for the X and Y axis. In this case, let's choose Silica on the X axis and K2O on the Y axis. And we hit OK. In the graph window, the symbols are scaled and coloured according to the parameters we chose earlier, in this case scaling on MGO and coloured on latitude. 
So the characteristics of the parameters are preserved. We can change the axis scaling in the graph window by clicking on the blue lines around the edge of the graph window. Like so. So here we are using four parameters to view the imported data. In this case, coloring and scaling and graphing two of the numerical columns. And all of this is done with the symbols georeferenced in the map window. In the graph window, we can select particular records simply by clicking on the symbol. For example, clicking this symbol highlights the symbol in the map window and the record in the table below. In GeoMap app, we can use a lasso tool to capture more than one record. The lasso tool is activated by clicking the symbol here. And we now use freehand drawing with the mouse to select the records of interest, like so. All of the captured records are now highlighted in the graph window and in the map window, as well as in the table below. We can save the captured records using the save function in the right panel. And the drop down menu provides a number of options. For example, we can save the selection as another Excel spreadsheet or as an ASCII table. We can also save the graph window using the save function in the graph tool. And we can save the map by going up to File, Save Map Window. Lastly, all of the windows currently open in this GeoMap App session are listed under the Windows menu here. We can bring one of the windows to the front simply by clicking its name from this menu. For example, to bring forward the colouring window, we select this item here. More information on GeoMap App can be found at www.geomapapp.org.